for sliding doors and the stage door, I'm going to use th this image of a castle gate that I've downloaded. Step one is I want to add a new layer and I want it set to black for this time. Black is the default foreground color. Click OK. Drag it down. Next I'm going to add an alpha channel. Can't add an alpha channel to this one. Make sure you have the correct layer selected. Next I'm going to cut out the opening. Now to actually cut it out and I'm going to paste it back in as a new layer. Grab the move tool, make sure that the layer is selected. Let's move it off over here and now let's reorder these layers. The next step is going to be to duplicate all of these layers and arrange them in the similar order. Now this layer I'm going to merge down into this one and then these two I'm going to merge down into this one. Now I'm going to come back up here to the copy of the door, grab it, slide it part way in and duplicate these layers. arrange them in the proper order and now I'm going to merge this one down and merge this one down again and if we turn these off you can see that we sort of have the effect of motion there again duplicate rearrange, come back here, move it over some more, again make sure you have the correct layer selected, move it, helps also if you have the correct layers turned on. and then merge down and you keep doing that until the gates closed. Here's a view of the finished product and if I work my way across or rather down the stack you can see how it works. First layer, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, there should be an eighth one there and that's complete. Now for stage door it's going to be fairly similar. Add a new layer, bring it down. I'm going to this time select this area of the door. I'm not going to do the whole thing, just this area. Cut it out wrong layer so undo it come to the correct layer cut forgot to add the alpha undo it add the alpha channel now we can cut it and paste it back in as a new layer grab the move tool, bring it down here, line it up. Now let's go ahead and duplicate all the layers.
just like before going to arrange them and with this we're going to merge these this one down and merge it down let's duplicate these layers again arrange them and now I'm going to start the opening process on this one. I'm going to take the perspective tool, make sure I have the correct layer selected, click on it, and now I'm going to bring this edge in a little bit and down just a little, this one over and up a little. We'll do a transform. Let's turn these other layers off a moment. And let's bring this down into here. Oop. Let's give it a name. Now we can move it down. And this one will just move up for now. And let's do a merge down on these. Now by turning these layers off, you can see we start to have an opening effect. And you repeat that until you have multiple layers. And as it runs through, you can see the effect. You just keep repeating it layer by layer, changing the perspective on the door each time until you have the door completely open, and then close it again. Now for the closing sequence on either the sliding door or the swinging door, you don't have to make new ones. You can new frames. You can just duplicate the prior frames and put them in the correct order. It may take a little bit of experimentation, but once you've done it, it'll be fairly easy to see how it worked.